Audi e-tron production is being delayed yet again, but this time it may not be Audi's fault. I'll tell you what's happening coming up next. Welcome to you for electric your number one source of unbiased electric car news if this is your first time here That's perfectly okay. If you want to receive the scoop of delicious electric car news every day All you have to do is smash that subscribe button down there So you don't miss anything moving forward, but most importantly become a part of this amazing community Let's talk about the Audi e-tron the car that I am still hoping to get sometime soon I'm one of the first reservation holders as you can see this is my reservation confirmation um, first reservation holders in North America um, I, I'm st lately I've been getting a little bit of cold feet, uh, maybe contemplating going back to the Model S. I still have a few weeks to go on mine that's in my garage right now. Or maybe just stick around with my Chevy uh, Volt for a little bit and just see what happens for the rest of the year. But um, as you know, uh, the, uh, the you know they, they've had uh, they've had a couple of issues before. One was with the um, software having to be recertified and that delayed it a little bit. Um, and they've also had an issue with LG Cam, uh, their battery supplier, because they just decided to up the price on them a uh, uh, 10% or so. Now that didn't really delay it, but this story actually involves both because apparently, um, and this is a report from a local German uh, source called Bayer Ischer Rundfunk. Very German. If I ever have a punk rock band, I'm definitely naming it that. But anyway, so they're reporting it from the sources inside the Brussels factory. Brussels factory, uh, that's where the e-trons are going to be made or being made right now, actually. By the way, the e-trons e are being delivered. There are people driving them in Europe right now. Uh, I have the e-tron owners group on Facebook and people are getting theirs, you know, as we speak. So the things are happening. But uh, the it looks like the Brussels factory is uh, supposed to be producing 300 uh, uh, of these babies per day, but they're only going at about 150 rate right now. So just like I said, it looks like the problem is with their supplier, LG Cam, um, and uh, th that probably comes from uh, them moving that factory, the battery factory from South Korea to Poland. And I guess there were some recertification issues and so forth. So it is being delayed, uh, which is very unfortunate. Um, now, you know, e-tron has over 20,000 reservations. That's what Audi is claiming. Uh, but now the delivery times are moved to about five months. Uh, still not bad. Obviously, as you know, Mercedes, Porsches and many other manufacturers are, are, are not even in production yet. And, uh, you know, so this this is, uh, I mean, this is going to delay it by a little bit, you know, it does, it's not really a delay, right? Probably shouldn't call it delay, more of a slowdown. Uh, but nevertheless, it is something that, uh, you know, people are going to have to uh, deal with. This is their first all-electric sedan. And, uh, you know, as we know, manufacturers, not just Tesla, you know, have a problem uh, ramping up production of a brand new model of the brand new technology. That's perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, a couple of weeks ago, I had Sandy Munroes, um, the pretty much top of the line specialist in uh, car, car manufacturers as a guest on my show. And he kind of, uh, you know, explained to us that that's pretty normal. So let me play a clip for you guys. But before that, let me just... Um, Remind you, this video and this channel is uh, sponsored by Accelerate Auto, the third-party extended warranty for all electric cars, including Tesla Model S and Model 3, uh, up to 125,000 mile coverage, uh, only $100 deductibles, and specifically for you guys, my audience, there's a discount code of $100 off. You can find it in the description of this video, and depending on which state you're in, you'll also find a link to where you can apply and uh, get this for yourselves. Okay, so uh, let me play uh, the clip of. Uh, uh, Sandy Munro uh, explaining uh, the production delays, including the legacy manufacturer production delays on my show a few weeks ago. The problem just boils right down to math. Um, at the end of the day, you've got um, billions of combinations of things that can go wrong. There's thousands of components, let's say, on a single circuit board, and each one of those can give you an issue. Um, when you when these guys uh, create a, a product, um, they do their utmost to make sure that everything is uh, as right as rain, that everything is going to be put in the right place and made as correctly as it could be made. But reality sneaks in as soon as um, as soon as the line starts. Now, when you design a product, um, usually you're doing uh, a little of that design in isolation from everything else. You really don't understand exactly how a car is going to build until you uh, until you actually um, 
you actually start to make it. And that's why there's a, usually a pilot plant or, a, or there's something where you're going to build the vehicle um, in a controlled environment. All right. So uh, as as I know, we were talking about something just very uh, general, um, and I guess that's the point, right? There's just because you're it's a new model and, and really new technology, um, you just never know. So um, that you know that does make sense. So as you know, I'm I'm still kind of thinking whether or not I'm going to get the the e-tron, but. Um, you know, I'm kind of going to judge this on quite a few different things, including just overall brand friendliness to this process. And I'm this is one of the reasons I'm getting my cold feet. But this wouldn't be the you know one of them. This is actually uh, not a necessarily a bad uh, sort of development. I think it's just unfortunate. And it looks like it doesn't even uh, uh, concern them, or it's just kind of their fault at all. All right. Well, let's break this down into positives and negatives right now. All right, so you know it's really hard to find positives in the story uh, because it is about delay of zone production. But the the positive is the fact that we are even talking about this. There would be no uh, a battery shortage, shortage issues uh, if this car wasn't in production, as you know, ahead of pretty much everybody. They are in production. They are delivering cars right now, um, and it is just ramping up. I mean, 150 uh, uh, per you know per day. That's more than Model 3 was, you know, doing in a while in the beginning. Definitely more than um, uh, Jaguar i I believe, is still producing. I mean, they only sell, I think, like 200 of them uh, or, or or something in in the U.S. last month. Um, so this is this is still overall in the context of really good news. Now, of course, the negatives are also pretty, you know, pretty uh, uh, apparent. You know, delay in deliveries means that there will be more people getting cold feet. There will be more people saying, well, maybe I will wait for the uh, uh, EQC from Mercedes or Taycan from Porsche, uh, maybe giving them more thought about getting some of the deals that Tesla is offering. So, you know, obviously it's negative for um, for Audi. And I think even I would say overall, the story really is here is about LG Cam. Like, let's not fool our, ourselves. Um, you know, uh, LG Cam had issues uh, uh, supplying batteries for many other manufacturers, including Hyundai and Kia and Jaguar. So, you know, this only basically says that the, the, this uh, this huge legacy manufacturers and everybody else really depends on these battery suppliers that may not just be ready for this whole electric car revolution. Um, and maybe this will lead to the um, to the companies like you know Audi and maybe Volkswagen Group and many others to basically realize maybe we'll get we'll do our own. Maybe we'll build our own factory that will be uh, doing the batteries, creating batteries just like. Um, Tesla uh, build with a partnership with Panasonic. So I think the negative here is really about the battery supply, which, you know, if we're going to continue seeing these problems, you know, we'll be talking about almost every single electric car that's coming on the market, having these issues, having delays, and overall, just people having a, a poor experience with reserving and getting their electric cars. So um, I think it's a problem. And I, and I hope there's a solution somewhere in the future, obviously, more money and a more efforts really need to be invested into this. Um, so I, I'm, I'll definitely keep my eye on the story. By the way, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, one of my newer Patreons, uh, Boris Iodzov. Um, probably should do a better job pronouncing a Russian last name since I'm Russian myself. But Boris, thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. Um, and this is the only place where you can watch me live. And thank you to all of you guys for supporting and contributing to this independent channel. I do this full time. So without your help, this would be a much, much more difficult journey. So thank you. Uh, uh, to all of you for for this. All right, uh, looking forward to, to your comments. Let me know if you are actually considering e-tron. Why or why not? Uh, put that in the comment section, and uh, we'll uh, we'll have the discussion there. Other than that, see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.